Hello, and welcome to another edition of Reamp Roundup, a weekly summary of energy news from the Upper Midwest region. It's the week of April 28, 2008, and I'm Daryl Sager. Wisconsin Lieutenant Governor Barbara Lawton has launched a website to help the public consider renewable energy. It identifies options, estimate costs, and it gives instructions on how to begin. Lieutenant Governor Lawton says the cost of renewable energy should only be about $10 more a month, according to Wisconsin Radio Network. The public can find the site at power.wisconsin.gov. Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm visited the state's first commercial scale wind project. The Harvest Wind Farm is located in Michigan's Thumb area. It has the capacity to power 15,000 homes, according to the Associated Press. Governor Granholm has been pushing for Michigan to produce and use more renewable energy. A group of more than 100 South Dakota truckers have planned a protest for Monday, April 28th in Pier. They are upset about high diesel prices. Governor Mike Rounds plans to address the group, according to the Associated Press. The Iowa Senate has added approximately $250,000 to the justice system budget, according to Radio Iowa. It is intended to help the Iowa Highway Patrol with rising fuel costs. The 86,000 North Dakotans who use Excel Energy may have slightly higher bills coming. Excel would like to charge an extra 40 cents a month. It would generate $1.1 million to be used towards conservation rebates and efficiency information, according to WDAY. The Minnesota House and Senate has approved bills for guidelines to control global warming emissions. The Green Solutions Act of 2008 lets the legislature approve a regional cap-and-trade system and authorizes relevant studies, according to the Pioneer Press. Representative Kate Knuth sponsored the bill. The Illinois Commerce Commission has voted to approve Ameren's purchase of renewable energy credits. These credits will come from the Starved Rock Hydroelectric Facility in Peru, Illinois. Peru Mayor Donald Baker said the city invested in the facility 15 years ago and it's finally paying off, according to the Peoria Journal Star. And that's it for this week. From all of us at Reamp Roundup, thank you for being with us. Please join us again next week.